Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. Here we got a plate full of fruit I grabbed from a rights-free stock footage site. And we're going to isolate some of the colors of this fruit and talk about how to do that in Vegas Pro 18. And it's pretty simple. You can do this in other versions of Vegas Pro too. If you go to the video effect tab and you type in um, secondary, you'll see you'll get the color corrector secondary. Now I have more about how this particular thing works uh, in my uh, color grading tutorial which is linked below. If you're wondering if this is related to the WandaVision tutorial, it actually is. This is a stair step. It is a piece of a bigger more complicated tutorial that is coming soon. So first off let's start with the apples. There's a desaturate all reds preset. This is going to be the preset to really just get most of the job done for us. You drag and drop that on there and boom you just got the red apples and the rest of the fruit is now black and white. What it's done is it's found the red color, the red hue, and it's decided to desaturate everything but the red. So only red pops. You don't need the vector scope open for this effect but I want you to see what's happening so you can understand it. So color has a range to it uh, and what we're doing is we're limiting the range that's going to stay saturated. Anything in this circle here uh, of this vector scope would be black and white so as it goes out in another direction or another vector like a vector scope, if it goes out in another vector it is another color so if it's blue, cyan, green, yellow, like I said covered more in uh, my color grading tutorial. Uh, so what we're doing is we're essentially Essentially flattening out everything except for one band, one vector of color. So how wide this band is or where this band sitting is done by the center effects. So with the center you're changing where the centering of this effect is. You can see how it rotates around, it kind of has a rotation. Um, so if you want it to be a little more towards the yellows and reds you move it this direction and then at green the yellow green area is where it loops back so here's one half of it and then on the other side on this left side here is the other half of it um, so that'll matter more in just a minute so here we are back over the reds kind of land squarely in the reds here that's how you pick your color with the width, you can change how like bre the breadth of the color you're grabbing here. So, man, the vector scope visualizes this very well. Um, so, if you want to grab more reds and kind of you kind of work these two things together to get just the red and to cut out the other colors, like the orange. Now, the smooth is how fast it drops down. Um, so having smooth all the way to the left is going to kind of bleed into other colors more. Having smooth all the way to the right is going to really choke it down. So this is your choke here. And so we're going to choke it a little bit. And there we go. We got a pretty good color pop. And if you hold control, you can move these dials slower or use your mouse wheel where the reds are showing through really 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 nicely and no orange and like I said if you wanted to change it like let's say we just wanted the uh, grapes to show through we could go to the green here and we'll have to adjust the width to kind of match better what we're going for but boom that was pretty quick one of those grapes still isn't there let's try the other side of the greens change the width a little bit And there we go. So that's just about as good as this is going to get to highlight the greens. And uh, you can just do this for whatever color you want. Certainly an awesome effect if you have a lot of pre-planning done. To get more granular, more complicated how to do masking of multiple colors and multiple things and things like that, that is going to be covered in a later tutorial. But uh, one thing I do want to note, let's say, let's go back to uh, just the desaturate reds here. This is all the presets. Desaturate all but reds and we'll, why did I close that? We'll choke this back down just a little bit again. Alright, so now 
We've got just the reds popping, but you can see there's a bit of, bit of red on the corner here. Maybe we don't want to highlight that, or maybe we don't want to highlight this uh, bit of steak, I think it is, over there. It looks really gross when it's just gray and uh, red. So uh, let's say we don't want to highlight those. We just want to highlight the apples. Well, then you, you just go to your video effects, go to Bezier masking. So just type in B if you're looking for it. And then uh, maybe let's grab a circle. And uh, we're going to just grab whoopsie, the center plate here. And we're going to, let's, let's do some feathering. Let's feather out. There we go. Smaller mask or whatever. Uh, you can motion track this. However, this one's so simple. Uh, if, you're, if your sync cursor is locked, all you have to do is just start at the beginning and have it moved over here and then kind of follow it through to the middle. The more complicated it is, the more keyframes you'll need. Keyframing stuff's covered in another tutorial about animation. But all I'm doing is tracking the location just so this moves with it. There we go. So now, um, let me go ahead and raise this up a track. Let me get, let me go Alt G2 to remove this color grading bar so we can see what we're doing better. And then I'm going to hit Control and drop this down to duplicate it. And now um, I'm going to go back into my effects and I'm going to get rid of the Bezier mask on the bottom one and the color grading and which the color grading effect was just there because I was showing you the vector scope and the color corrector secondary. Now um, that puts color back in the corner so we need to get the color back out again but we need to get all the color back out because we don't want any reds there either. Um, so we're just gonna go to black and white and grab 100% black and white put it on the bottom. And so now uh, when we watch this back we'll see it's a little mad because it's having to move my Bezier mask around. I will drop the... Fun fact, ProRes is a lot smoother when you're doing this kind of stuff. Um, decompose footage a little bit to help it smooth out the frame rate some, but now you can see that only the apples are red and nothing else is. So that is the basics of color pop or selective color effect in Vegas Pro 18. More coming with the WandaVision tutorial uh, about how to do it in a bigger, grander, fancier way, uh, but this is the basics. So thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Also, if you've got more um, tutorial needs or if you're gonna buy the software or anything like that, I have all sorts of links to help you in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.